Hey all hope you are doing good welcome back to yet another cleaning video i haven't been able to take care of my house like i did with zain my days just goes by like a lightning flash and all i notice is it's time to go to bed and i haven't really done anything at times i feel like all i'm doing is holding my baby the entire day and that's all <laughs> zain is playing zain jude is playing zain see see ready One, two, three. <laughs> yes, anyway, today I motivated myself to clean the house wherever required. I'm starting out with our bedroom. I will change the bedding first and put fresh ones. And then I will change Zane's bedding too. Zane has started hating the crib these days. He uses it only during the day naps. At night he mostly sleeps with us. The mirror which is attached to the wardrobe got so dirty. Dusting and wiping down all the furniture in the room along with the home office area. This is where all the edits and voice over happens. The chair here accumulated so much of dust. This is a side table which used to be in our balcony but after Zain was born I brought it here to make it my nursing station now it has turned into a medicine station Since it looks very cluttered here I decided to keep it where it was and keep the medicines in our designated medicine drawer Laundry, laundry, and more laundry. I realized if I don't clear out the laundry immediately after it's dried, it will stay in that basket forever. I feel so lazy to do it later. All done with the master bedroom. Now it's time to tackle Kaya's room. Kaya has been going to her extracurricular classes most days of the week and has to go through a lot of physical exercises. We realized that she gets super tired after dinner and wants to get a very comfortable sleep during the night. Of late she has been complaining of back pain and disturbed sleep and so we realized that her current home mattress might be adding to some of her sleep discomforts. Luckily, Wakefit sent us their latest orthopedic memory foam mattress to try. The mattress is made of three layers. The next gen memory foam layer adapts to the shape of your body. Seven pressure zone layer enables air circulation to keep you cool and give your body targeted support so that you sleep in comfort. The high resilience layer, a firm base for the mattress that gives you adequate support. We have known Wakefit as a brand for mattresses for the last 4 to 5 years and have been very happy with their products so far. They ship products to their customers directly from the factory thereby keeping costs much lower. Now the best part about shopping for their mattresses is the fact that you can buy and try for 100 days. They have a 100 day no question asked return policy which allows you to see if the mattress suits your body and then decide if you want to continue using it or return it.
The touch and feel of the mattress is important and at local shops you only get to try it for a few minutes which is not the right way to choose a mattress. Now we are hoping that the mattress will be best suited for a good night's sleep after the active day that Kaya has. Please check out the link in the description for more details. Also use my coupon code for an additional discount when you purchase via the link. I will start by clearing out the window set which is more a dump yard for her. I will keep away the clothes first and then keep the toys in their respective places. Should I clear the stairs? Hmm? The dresser should... what should I do? I'm gonna... Skirt, no? This is where I store her stationery and it's in a total mess. I will rearrange and tidy up everything. Your water fan is in here. But it blows off very fast. Look at that work side here. How do you need? What's it works? You can color on this palette blue bit. Try it. Her study table has God knows what all stuff. I got this drawer organizer from Amazon. Hopefully things look more organized with this. I put up this rope with clips for her artwork and pictures. The place which I dedicated earlier for her art is overflowing with her work.
I will soak the chair cover for few hours with borax washing powder and dish soap liquid before I put it in the washing machine. This toy storage from IKEA has been such a life saviour. I got it for Kaya 5 years back and now I will use it for organising Zane's toys. This is another study table which is used by both Parth and me. There is so much of dust everywhere in the house because of summers and the windows in our house stay wide open all the time these days. Kaya stuck the stickers on the door, though we told her not to do it earlier, but she did it anyway. A hack to remove stickers from a surface is to use a blow dryer. Time to prepare today's lunch, a regular everyday vegetarian thali which consists of jeera aloo, dal fry, kosambari, green chutney and papar. While the potatoes gets fried well, I will dry roast cumin seeds, coriander seeds, fennel seeds, few dry red chilies and then I will grind it into a fine powder. Once the potatoes look well fried, I will add the powder along with some amchur powder and a dash of lemon juice. I will also cook fish stew for Zane. Since he is almost 10 months old now, I started to give him some fish. It's recommended to wait till the baby is 1 year old before giving chicken or any other meat.
For the dal tadka, I will add some dried red chilies to the oil, then add chopped onions and the tomato, which I boiled along with the dal. While Parth helps me feed Zain, I will make a radish and carrot kosambari. To a bowl, I will grate one radish and one carrot. I will also add some chopped coriander leaves and soaked mug dal. To that, I am going to give a tarka of mustard seeds, curry leaves and green chilies. I will also mix some grated coconut to it. Back to more cleaning, this coffee station is near our dining area and it had dust accumulated on it over time. By the way, I found a hack to clean glass items and make it shiny like new. I'll soak them in baking soda, vinegar and some dish soap for few hours. This is where I store my extra grocery supply. I will take everything out and give it a good clean before rearranging things back. I make homemade cumin and coriander powder, that is why I keep stock of these two things in my pantry. In the second drawer, I store all kinds of masalas. In this drawer, I keep things like dal, grams, sugar, salt, etc. This hack seemed to work, the cups have become shiny again. It's almost dinner time and I'm back to the kitchen. I'm going to make langar wali Punjabi dal. I saw this recipe on Pinterest and it looked so tempting that I had to make it. Even though we had dal for lunch, but we don't mind eating it again. <laughs> I'm also going to make rice kheer with Govindo Bhog rice. I will boil the rice and then add it to the milk.
The secret to make a tasty kheer is to add a little bit of milk powder and it makes a huge difference. I'm also adding some condensed milk instead of sugar to enhance the taste. For making the dal, I'll add some oil to a pot, then I will add a bay leaf, some chopped onions and I forgot to add jeera seeds and hing to the oil so I will add that now. After the onion starts browning, I will add the chopped garlic and green chilies. then I will add the chopped tomatoes along with salt, haldi, red chilli powder, cumin, coriander powder and some amchur powder. At this point, I will add the boiled dal along with some ginger juliennes. Once it comes to a boil, I will finish it off with some butter and coriander leaves. It's the next day, everything has dried well and I'll keep them in their respective places. This is how I fold the fitted sheets which are otherwise such a pain to fold. It feels so good to smell a clean laundry. This area looks so much cleaner with a simple cleanup. Down! Yeah! Go! Go, go, go! Scared. Down. Good boy. And that's all for today's one guys. I really hope you found it motivating. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with a new video really soon. Bye.